slopes is a very common type of tile that is used throughout the hacks or the original Super Metroid, but is often miss or confused during novice hackers or beginners starting up. And the reason they're kind of confusing is the proper way to use them. If they're not used correctly, they won't work the way you think they should. So we'll go over how all these BTS ones are about tiles, and if you notice, the BTS is the ones with the green outline if you're using um, Smile and you're hacking. Um, and even behind the landing ship you see these green blocks which are also BTS. So let's go over how to use them. For the most part, when you create a hilly, or they say criteria terrain, which is normally cavey or hilly, you want lots of bumps and dips and different pieces to make the ground more interesting and natural looking. I flattened this out and as you can tell it's very boring, especially if you were to take away the grass in the background. If you just uh, paste over top them, well, like that, this becomes a very very boring and simple uh, landscape I guess. So to make it more interesting we'll use some BTS slopes. Now the first thing you need to come into your frame down here and find the tile that looks like a slope or a triangle would be considered a slope or there's other ones that aren't quite as cut in half maybe three-fourths or all different types and you paste that where you want. I pasted it right there and you remember you can use your keys to flip the tiles in any direction you want. I'm going to have mine move in this direction. From there I'm also going to paste another one on the opposite side to create an upslope and then a down slope. Next we need to take some of our solid flat tiles and bring them across the top. Then we need to paste the inside cave tiles underneath. And you also have these two tiles here which don't match up 100%, so you need to grab this particular tile here which will fit it. And you move that. Okay, you have this slope right here. Or so you would call a slope. Now, it won't work in the way you'd think right now, as in, okay, I'll just run up it and then down it. It's not going to work. If you look at what properties this particular tile has, it's a solid, oh, sorry, it's an air block, so right now you're going to move through it. So we need to change that to a solid block. And I'll go over all these uh, different definitions in a second. And a quick or a helpful hint that I like to use is whenever you have a certain property selected, in this case, solid block, you can hold down the equal button. Uh, right next to your backspace key. Hold that down and just roll your mouse over the tiles you wish to make a solid block. Just like that. Okay. So now we have all of these tiles through here all solid. So right now if Samus was to run, she would get stopped right there and this tile would become a solid so she wouldn't be able to run up it. It would just be like a block sitting right there. To make it where she'll walk up it just by running through it, you have to go up to this special area right here that says BTS and choose that. From here you get a drop down bar with a whole bunch of numbers and also a square box with a lot of green different shapes. Uh, the first thing is you want to create the shape you're looking for. In other words, we're looking for a half cut triangle, sort of bright triangle shape. And if you look through, you'll find this one right here looks pretty much exactly what we need. Now you click, left click, hold and drag hold it, hold it, hold it, get over the block you want to create the slope over, this particular one, and then let go. And then as you see now it has a green triangle overlapping it. For this particular one however, the triangle is flipped the wrong way. So you need to select the horizontal flip button and it'll flip them all horizontally and then you can drag and let go. Now you can also use your arrow keys to move these around as well if you want to do it that way. Now that this is sloped it means Samus will now run. Once she comes in contact this, with this, she'll move up it just has just like the green outline shape looks like. Now the problem with this is if you do this right now, if you were to run Samus up here, I would show you what it lags up the uh, screen recorder and the microphone. But you would, Samus would move, she would get onto this block, start to crawl up it, or walk up it, but right at the top she would get stuck. She wouldn't be able to move. And the reason for that is because you have to picture a BTS tile as moving up and then right whenever it goes back to a solid, it's actually a little higher than the screen triangle so her feet get stuck.
She doesn't know to walk up and over that. That's not exactly how it happens, but it's a good way to think about it. So we need to make sure that this area is also sloped. That way she can move smoothly across it. To do that, you look at your green area and you see a whole bunch of these square ones that are just square, which seems kind of odd for a slope because why do you, would you need a square slope? But you could just take one of them and drag them on the one right beside it, just like that. And now, Samus will efficiently move up, over, get on top of this block, and continue to move across. And you have to remember to put it on this particular side as well. So that is a perfectly drawn slope and will work fine as long as all these blocks around are solid. If this particular block right under the slope isn't solid, um, even though you wouldn't think that Samus would come in contact that, I believe she'll still fall through the floor. So that's one of the most important solid blocks. If you leave all these in the center of the ground unsolid, it can cause some problems. Um, let's look over some other kind of slopes that are used. In this particular place under this land landing ship, you can see that they're using these triangled ones, and they have these square ones underneath. This particular one doesn't have a square underneath. And the reason for that is the only time you're going to put a square slope directly underneath a triangle slope is if you have a slope that looks like this. That particular slope, which has two triangles right next to each other, so it would look effect like this, would need to have two different triangle slopes. You grab one and drop it. We'll need one on top, just like that. So now you might think, okay, that works fine. But the problem is whenever you have a triangle connected to a triangle, just like this, Samus will once again get stuck right about there. Because there always needs to be that square slope directly to the side of the triangle. So if we push it like that, that's a fine slope now. She'll walk up it, walk down it, and just be fine.